All right, guys, <laughs> I'm alive. It's a little anticlimactic. <laughs> it's like, uh... so Kat and Corey, why don't you guys check and see if the signal's going, if it's working. All right, so I'm gonna sit here for a few minutes and kind of let everybody kind of jump in and I'm, I'm not gonna make this too long. Sorry about the thing from yesterday that kept buffering. The signal out here, once you leave where I'm at, there's no signal. You can't get through to anything. So that's why the YouTube thing cut out yesterday and it just kept buffering because I was trying to YouTube live it and then uh, keep it going. But once the plane took off and all that stuff, uh, the signal got lost. And after the signal got lost, uh, I just turned everything off and concentrated on the skydive. Anyway, so guys, uh, yeah, how fascinating. So I was, I'm, I'm talking to Corey and Kat and, and just, uh, I, I was telling them, you know, that it's really fascinating because now, then before, before I say this, I, I want to be very clear. This is not about me. This is not about me. These are just, these are, these are facts that are important to understand that the Lord used my entire life so I could look over my shoulder and I could understand the entire system. The meaning of my name, Jonathan Cleck. Yahweh has given a messenger that rings a bell. A vision company. Jesus said, I've come to give sight to the blind because we're a bunch of vampires. You know, you're in a vampiric system. So the whole system is vampiric. Cain and Abel, so vampire sunglasses. My girlfriend was Eleuthera. That means licentious freedom. If you go read Romans 8, uh, that uh, sons of God are given the glorious liberty, or you'll, you'll have the glorious liberty of the sons of God. The word is eleuthera, the word liberty in the Bible. It means licentious or legitimate freedom. So anyway, all the stuff over my shoulder, everything I've done now in my life, I can look over my shoulder now, and I can see that my, my life was a reflection of the fall from grace, falling out of the sky with fangs on into a vampiric system and then when i got to go sky surf with the space shuttle discovery i look like i'm crucified in the sky and that's what that was the point of the lord drawing me in and when i discovered christ and the lord gave me the vision he's come to restore this sight to the blind and and so Everything about my life was a, a manifestation of what actually is, and it's it's kind of hard to believe and understand all that, but it's but it's it's absolutely true. There's no doubt about it, and so so now this skydive that he had me do into a little desert oasis in the middle of the desert, and had me set up a, a red X, a big LZ. Uh, I mean, a, a big uh, blue tarp with a big red X as my landing zone in the middle of a desert that has a stream that is dried out. That is so spiritually mind-blowing that no one could even think this up. Now, remember this. When I rang the bell back there in San Antonio, the Lord told me this will ring back to the Garden of Eden. Well, the resurrection is from the Garden of Eden till the end. And here I am in a little representation of like the Garden of Eden, where it's, it's you know, uh, it's this little oasis in the middle of the desert. And I, I have a motorcycle with me that says Royal Enfield. So there's a crown on a chrome gas tank right in front of my little room that says 1937. 1937 in the Bible is uh lust and desire it's from the it's from the commercial with um progressive y'all remember flow texan the girl that makes a scorpion stinger so all that stuff has become so unbelievably significant that you know it's it's the lord's way of communicating within this system that we call the earth and the you know humanity he's communicating the information by literally letting me kind of work it out and and see it all because you know uh just like vampire sunglasses uh, i have a vision company for vampires i mean think about it 
it's just, it's unbelievable. So the whole thing is just truly a manifestation of what is. And I can assure you this, the end is, the end is definitely coming. And I, I, I wouldn't be surprised, you know, if, and I, I don't like saying stuff like this because everybody, oh, clicks are just coming. No, I wouldn't be surprised if it happens, you know, any second. I'm never going to pick a day, but I, I fulfilled what needed to be fulfilled, if y'all understand what that means. I came out to the desert. I skydived into a little Garden of Eden setting. 1937 of every number was written only on my building where you step into the building. The building I'm in was split into two. They, they, they put big brackets on it and they pulled the whole building back together and they set it on a rock foundation because we're on the rock. When I was walking down to check my LZ, I looked down and lo and behold, there was the, out of hundreds of trillions of rocks, the Lord had me look down and say, pick up those two black rocks. And I picked up those two rocks and the Lord told me, put them together. And I'm like, put them together. And I went like this. And they, it was like someone took a diamond blade saw and cut straight through a flat rock. And it was a mirror reflection of itself. A rock. A rock in a creek bed where I'm going to land. It's just not even comprehensible. It's so insane. So... You know, I know that the end is, is, is imminent. It could be any moment now. But I know that what I had to do was to fulfill this outward manifestation and do what he said and uh, just be willing. I'm, you know, I'm willing. The Lord, the Lord chose me because he knows I'm willing. Hang on one sec. Hey, what's up? I'm on YouTube Live right now, so I love you. Yeah, go to YouTube Live. So yeah, those are other people checking in on me. And um, what I'll do is, okay guys, I'll, I'll, I have a little video. Uh, I have other video back in, you know, in Chinati, but now I'm off to parts unknown. I mean, I, I'm not sure where, where this is leading. I don't, I don't know, to be honest. I'm just waiting on the Lord now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take, I have a little video that the, the pilot sent me and I'm going to have, I'm going to send it to Corey. And then we'll see if Corey can post it. I'm going to have Corey post this into the uh, comment section of this video. So let's see how that works. Corey, you think you can do that or no? Maybe. Okay, thank you. Oh, you know what? I'll send it, I'll send it to Dave too. Okay, you guys sit tight for just a sec. I know this, it's a little bit awkward because it's like everybody's in my office. <laughs> it's like, let's, everybody's hanging out with Johnny in his mobile office. Let me send this to Dave the wave. You got a lot of people in your office. Yeah. I got a whole lot of people in my office right now. Okay, so let me see if I can get this to Dave the wave. It might take a second because uh, you're streaming. Yeah, now, remember I'm, and guys, I can't really, I can't really read the comments because this is all on my phone. But I see y'all. Oh, forgot. Hey, group hug. I got a pillow. <laughs> I love you guys. There's a group hug for everybody. And then let's see. And there we go. That noise was the video. Hopefully, going out to Dave the Wave. And it looks like maybe it went. All right, so I'll have Dave post the, the pilot that flew me over. He took out his stuff and he did a, he did a little video so when I was going out of the plane. So that's what's gonna get posted for you guys in that thing. And it, it, Dave the Wave will post it. I don't know what his moniker is. Uh, it may be Dave the Wave. Do you guys know what Dave's moniker is in there? Uh, no, it's Dave Shadow. Yeah. Hang on one, one sec, guys. Okay, let me see. Okay, so it's out of my outbox. So it went out. I'm going to call Dave on this phone. So, hey, guy, Hey, 
Corey and Kat, you guys don't just mind hanging out while I'm doing all this, do you? Oh, not at all. Okay, so we're just, we're just gonna hang out for a little while, guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna call Dave the Wave right now on this phone. I got that phone, this phone, and this phone all going. <laughs> it's like. <gasps> So anyway, yeah, the landing was interesting. It was almost catastrophic, but it turned out pretty good. Almost, almost at the tarp. Dave the Wave. Hey, Dave, I sent you a little video uh, in your email. Did it come through? Can you go post that video right now in the, the video from yet? Whatever, yeah, the video from yesterday from YouTube Live. Hopefully not the one where it all blinked out, but the other one. Not the one that buffered, 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 you know, but the one before that. Okay, cool. I'll call you back in a few. I'm, I'm doing a little YouTube check-in with everybody. Okay, cool. All right, guys. So, you know, I mean, I guess I would say to everybody, uh, Johnny, uh, your servant is diligently 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 putting myself out there for what the Lord wants me to do so now Kat and Corey I gotta we're gonna drive back to uh the Dean <laughs> so we're all gonna go for a little cruise we'll see how this works guys I don't know I don't know how much uh this uh stream is gonna continue but I'm leaving the Presidio airport right now and then I'm gonna grab a little something to eat and then I'm going to pray and then start loading up all my gear and then check back in as, you know, as when I can. I don't want to use up my whole mobile hotspot because there's only a certain amount of data that goes with this thing. So I'll probably like cut the stream off here in just a minute. But uh, it's really amazing down here, guys. This desert terrain is it is so unforgiving. It is just unbelievable. Sounds like my car's gonna blow up here in a minute. <laughs> That's it. <sighs> okay, hang on. All right, you know what? I think I'm gonna pull over and try and make this thing go off. Hey, Corey and Cat. Yeah. Yep. Um, I'm gonna pull off in just a second, try and make this thing uh, go off. If you guys don't mind hanging out, I'm I'm just going to try and get off the roadway here so I can Let's see. Okay, I don't I don't want the same thing to happen yesterday where that thing kept streaming or trying to stream. Did, hey guys, did that ever load up yesterday that that one that was buffering? Did it cut off and loading anything up or did it just you know, like <laughs> It what? It turned into a vid. So, yeah. Oh, it did. Uh, what? How? How long of a vid did it turn into? Like four minutes, seven seconds. Oh, that's it. Uh, okay, so here I'm gonna I'm gonna put on my flashers and my lights, and I'm gonna pull over right here into this place and uh, see about doing my YouTube live off thing here. Okay, guys, um, I'm checking in. Uh, skydive went really well. Uh, it was a little bit of a, a little bit of a tough landing, uh, but uh, came really close to the tarp and survived. So the king is coming, guys. I guarantee it. Can you? The thing to me that was the most mind blowing of all of it was the thing that was the most mind blowing of the whole thing was walking to check my LZ and the Lord having me look down and pick up that rock that was a mirror image of itself and put it back together. Then I went to my room and the Lord told me like, open the Bible, I wanna show you something. And I opened up to Isaiah 25. Everyone should go read Isaiah 25. And I had a bookmark in that page. Now listen, I had a bookmark in my Bible and written on that bookmark was Ephesians 2. His purpose was to make one new man from the two. And I had just walked out with these two half rocks that went together as one rock. Just think about that. Out of the trillions, the incountable, innumerable rocks that are out here in the desert in a stream, 
I picked up two, two separate rocks. So this is a 100% te truthful testimony. They were separate in a, in a creek bed, separate. And I picked them up and the Lord told me, put them together. And they were exactly the same rock split in half. And they were no thicker than a 50 cent piece. Think about that. That's insane. That's just like, I just can't even wrap my brain around that. So yeah. So anyway, that's him saying he's putting the two back together and y'all can see the enemy coming now, can't you? I mean, can you guys see how the enemy is manifesting within the host body system? It's, it's mind boggling. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna see what I gotta do. I'm gonna try and try and end this thing correctly. Let's see. Let's see. I'm gonna stop streaming now. I love you guys.